What's up, everybody? This is uh, Carlos Sanchez, also known as Sneak Geeks, uh, on the internet. Um, and this channel is Bitcoin EZ. And I'm making some videos because I got a lot of my sneakerheads asking me about cryptocurrency, Bitcoins, and how they can learn more about it. I'm going to be doing various videos, random videos, about my experience in the crypto space and what I'm doing today in the space and what's happening uh, in that space. Hey everyone, what is up? I am going to give you a little insight, little inside look at what I'm doing with some of my crypto. I'm getting out of some shit coins, right? Some coins I've been holding for a long time. They are proof-of-stake coins. I've had them for a couple of years, if not three years. I can't even remember. One of them is TechCoin, T-E-K. The other one is HyperStake Coin. Um, another is BitBay. And I think these are the three that I'm going to cash out on today so I can actually upgrade my mining because... Um, as everyone knows, as the price of crypto is going up, specifically Litecoin, Bitcoin, Dash, Ethereum, I think uh, now is the time to get back into the mining game. So with that, let me give you a little sh inside shot of one of my wallets. Right now, um, it is doing about, I think about 10%. Um, it, tech coin, the tech, you, the technology, you can do up to, I think, 40% per month. Another wallet I want to show y'all is my, I think I mentioned this one in the intro, is the Hyper Stake wallet. Um, I forget what percentage this one does. I don't know. I can't, I don't even remember, man. But uh, it's been so long that I've been in here. But I've cashed out some along with TechCoin. I've cashed out along the way. But right now, I think it's time to just uh, get rid of them. Uh, this one has about $3 million. Um, in there and it's staking as you can see um, on the 15th it did about 5,000 probably more um, hyper stake that if it has staked I have blocks I think of 10 to 50,000 uh, uh, hyper stake in the, each block and uh, yeah so I'm going to also I'm gonna after the tech coin wallet finishes doing its thing of minting all of its coins, I'm then gonna start sending these to the exchange. Let me show y'all so we can trade them out. Some of the mining equipment I have in house. So uh, that's a Zeus miner, script miner, 25, 27 mega hashes. We have some of those. Um, I forgot even the name of those. I've had those so long. Those little cylindrical ones right there. Um, you can see that. I got the power supplies down there. I got some GPU units down at on the bottom rack there and then we have this one here these haven't been fired up these gpu uh, miners haven't been fired up in a long long time i was mining um geez what was i mining at that point it was litecoin and back then um you know the uh, difficulty went up quickly a6 came out and they um the price dropped so it was not cost effective to run these and it is not cost effective today to run these GPU miners light, mining Litecoin. Maybe some Dash 11, maybe some Ether um, might be a better fit for those. Uh, the script miner, script is uh, back up. You know, script mining is uh, again profitable. So these are worth firing up. But I'm going to upgrade my, uh, my Litecoin mining uh, equipment and um, I'll probably make some, I'll have to make some room here. So I might put these up for sale on eBay. You might and want to check that out. In case you guys are wondering, my other passion, as you can see, there's a lot of sneakers uh, in this space. This room used to be exclusively dedicated to sneakers, but once I got, I found out about crypto and Bitcoin, I fell down that rabbit hole and and I just uh, just kind of got out of the sneaker um, game for a while and then um, 
j and got deep into the crypto space. All right, so here we are in the Hyperstake wallet, and I'm about to send some coins to the exchange. Uh, whenever uh, best practices is when sending um, coins to an exchange, first to send a little bit to make sure it works. And then if it looks like it worked well, fine, then I would send the rest of them. So um, for this wallet, because it's constantly staking and I'm not sending all the coins at the same time, um, what I do is I look at transactions. Um, actually, go to send and go to coin control because I want to send the coins with the lowest priority and or the coins that, that have uh, that are the um, the early the youngest right the, as far as minting is concerned so um, this is here set up by age and you can see this here 386 uh, days is so because it's point zero 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 two two so these will never mint these other ones these blocks are too small and I actually have to uh, combine those because those could start minting. So you can see the age of these. Um, the ones that are the youngest. Scroll down. This, uh, let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. And are these down here, right? These are the blocks that have been minted most recently. So whatever coins I send, I want to send them from here, um, from the bottom um, on that. So I'm going to start selecting some of these uh, blocks of coins to send those out. So I selected uh, the coins there, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. And it's about 30,000 coins and I'm going to enter in an address to send them to so there um, and the amount is this amount here so I'm just going to copy that paste that in here insufficient funds probably because of the fee so I'm going to um, just get rid of this 98 at the bot here I'm just gonna get rid of the last two digits so got rid of those last two digits and now it's should be fine um, let's hit send and it's asking me are you sure I'm gonna say yes and now I gotta enter in my password so password is entered and now we're going to hit OK. And as you can see, it says this is over the limit. You can still send it for a fee. Do you want to do it? And yes. So if you notice this here changed, you see where my mouse is, not minting at the moment because it is sending. Um, so with that, Let's go back to overview. And you can see there in red, that's been debited from my account, 30,006 uh, of six confirmations. Requires six confirmations for it to be considered a non-reversible transaction. So that is on its way. Um, so, and we're going to see what's happening. So, um, you can see the coins, the sell orders are at five, and the buys are at four. So, I'm going to sell at this four price. We're going to sell, let's uh, click on here, and they want to buy 123,000. 
So we have 123,000 there for sale um, at that price, and I'll get back 0 0.0049. So let's hit sell, and orders are filled for that. So then, now I'm going to take and I'm going to sell an additional 500,000. So I'm going to make that a five. And I'm going to be selling a four. Let's do Let's do that. Should I make that four a hundred? Let's make it five hundred thousand. Sell. Or let's refresh so it should pop up there. Oh, it's actually over here. And then I'm gonna sell an additional so on the sell order and then I'm going to go to back here again and we're going to sell again but this time at five we're going to sell um, what we have so at five the balance of 441,000 and let's do that and that was added. Okay, cool. The TechCoin wallet has finished minting. Uh, like I said, I haven't done this in a while. So now we're up to 3,405,358 TechCoins. And we're going to be cashing those out very soon, just uh, monitoring the price to make sure we can get a half-decent price uh, when we cash these out.